When I'm teaching social selling, um, I say that there's four main pillars. There's You have to have the right profile mm -hmm. so that decision makers will accept your connection request. It's really the whole purpose, and of course to build your personal brand and whatnot, but if you're using LinkedIn for sales, that first step is the most important. It's crucial, yep. right? Because you can't ever message anybody yep. or start a conversation with them unless you connect with them and, first. And nobody wants to talk with the sales, so you gotta... Yeah. Yeah. Yes, and that's a great point. So I teach sales teams yeah. on taking all the sales language out of their profile. Yeah. How not to be a sales. Well, I change their titles. I'm like, yeah. you're no longer an account executive. You're no longer a sales this, you know? Um, so that's the first step. The second step is finding the right people. So using yeah. LinkedIn's phenomenal advanced search functionality and all that kind of stuff to really target the right people mm -hmm. with a personalized message. Again, so once Always they, a message or not? Yeah, always. Always. Message. Because so you want to have at the end of the, personal connection. Well, when you're sending a connection request to somebody, especially a decision maker, there's one question that they have in their mind. Who is this person and why are they trying to connect with me? Can I trust him or her? So you need to be able to answer that question because yeah. there is a certain percentage of people that will just click accept no matter what. Mm -hmm. But usually the higher level people, the higher level decision makers, they're much more guarded. Yeah. Yeah. So that personalized message that's about them, not about you. I can't tell you how many messages I get from people saying, hi, Melanie, I'm this, I'm this, I'm this, my company's out. Yeah. It's like, who cares, yeah. right? I, I have the same. I always say, at the end of the day, nobody cares about you, nobody we cares about same, me. Hi, Melanie, we're in the same business. I say, seriously. I yeah, <laughs> how about a little bit more creativity? Yeah. Okay, profile. So yeah, so we got profile, we got finding the right people, right. targeting them uh, and connecting with them and then the right messaging that moves them forward along mm -hmm. the process to really start to build rapport, to add some value to them yeah. and earn enough trust that they're willing to have a phone call with. The word social selling, when I write it on a whiteboard, I always cross the word selling because it's indeed being about being social mm -hmm. and the selling will follow. Actually, social selling, if we compare our expertise together, then social selling comes before during and after your sales procedure. So it's like a conversation. The selling will follow automatically. Who should do it? Is it everybody in the company? Is it only the executives? Is it the marketing team? Who should be busy with it? Most of the time, the question comes from marketing or sales. Yeah. That's the sales or VP. The or the, absolutely, or the mm -hmm. CEO uh, or another C-level. And so we start, ideally, I always have a, a very uh, a long talk and preparation with the marketing and the sales director. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's where we decide how to do it. And then we start the whole process. Okay. And then there is a rhythm, a cadence that you follow like every week, every day. Or what, what channels would you recommend? Because very quickly we're going to get to, is it going to be Facebook, Instagram? No, I've read Twitter. I've read TikTok, by the way. You, you should go all in TikTok, which is scary for me, but what would be the channel? V2B, then we still have to see LinkedIn as the number yeah. one platform Trusted to use. Source. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So, I see also a shift, sorry then. No, I, no, go I see go also on. a shift uh, through um, or towards Instagram. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's really a new channel, which is at the level of Facebook around 2016, more or less. Mm -hmm. So they're still growing very fast. So uh, that is also a channel that I am uh, testing right now, yeah. but most of the time, of course, every, everything starts from LinkedIn. So if you're not selling, what happens then? You talk, you, what's, what's the whole, how do you, how do you, what's the plan of a tech? There are different aspects. Mm -hmm. First of all, you should develop your own network yeah. on the pro, on your own profile, because yeah. A lot of marketeers think that social selling is all about the, the company, company page, page yeah, it's but it's all about the profiles because we're people doing mm -hmm. business with other people. I know salespeople, for example, who start their day by scrolling to what I call the daily news uh, site on their LinkedIn profile. Mm -hmm. And they do it for 15 minutes or 30 minutes just to find out what's going on in my industry, what are my colleagues doing, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. And that's where they get a lot of information. So you should be out there. You try to sell during that conversation. What's the goal? You try to get a meeting. What do you do? Just say, hey, yo. You're going to start with a personalized message. You're yeah. not going to just click like, hey, let's connect. No, no, you're going to make it. Um, you're going to add a personal note. Let me be critical. Yeah. Do you close it or not? As in closing the meeting or closing whatever you want to get to. 
or should you stay away from that? Hard selling is not really what you should do uh, during a social selling procedure. Ultimately, it's really about what you want to get out of it and not about, um, you know, working to try and just get reach and get vanity metrics. Yeah. You know, so vanity metrics are the, the numbers that don't actually mean anything. So just reaching hundreds of thousands of people that aren't it even It makes you feel good, right? When you think about it, you want to have a post that got... Yeah, I mean, if you, you want to do the ad, I can imagine. I spend a thousand bucks at yeah. your company, you do an ad, and I get like 50 people clicking on it. I would be thinking... Yeah, I mean, for me, I'm more about driving results than chasing endorphins. So, <laughs> it's a balance, right? I, I guess it depends on what your objectives are as a business. Yeah. You know, if it's to actually um, increase awareness in a certain marketplace and your views are going up, that's fantastic. But if the end goal is to actually translate that into inquiries, sales, um, then that objective may be wrong. So yeah. it's not me saying there's a, a wrong or a right. It's actually saying you need to give overall perspective. So how do I start? How do you start? So I come to you and sure. I say, look, you are the expert. First, where do I go? Okay. And then what should I think of? What should I do? Sure. So the first thing in terms of where you go, the easy answer to that is where your customer's attention already is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I think most people do that wrong. Um, use an example. Most people in a B2B environment think that Facebook's entirely wrong. The thing is, People are on Facebook and you want to target people, you can target them based upon job description, industry, etc. Um, and if anything, they're spending more time on there, you know, it could be when they're at home or the weekend or at lunch or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, but I mean, for me, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, um, in early 2018, uh, they're the platforms that we can get predictable, reliable, scalable. Um, and you mix uh, Facebook and Instagram because of the nature, because they are tied in together, it doesn't sure. matter. Sure. Um, so, I mean, the one thing, you know, to always be aware of is that you do need different strategies. You need to be contextual um, and native to the platform. Yeah. So don't just create one thing and throw it. So no URLs, it needs to be native upload, native content. Yeah, and I mean, it's different content. So um, you might try different approaches on Facebook and different approaches on LinkedIn. Yeah, 